Have you ever been involved in that great debate, you know, the one that goes on and on for centuries, or at least seems that way, where you got your network guys and you got your server guys, and the server guys always say, it's the network. And the network guys always say, no, 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 it's the servers. Well, let's say that that battle is raging in your area of responsibility, and you want to see if it really is the network. One of the commands that you can use as a Windows troubleshooting tool is NSLOOKUP. So I was going to demonstrate that here. I'm just going to type NSLOOKUP all by itself in a command prompt, administrative of course, and hit enter, and it puts me into this interactive mode. Well, let's say for instance, I've got users complaining, I, I can't get to Google, the Google is broken. Well, let's see, can I get there? Or can I at least find out if it's reachable? And I get this answer. In fact, with Google, you would find a whole bunch of IP addresses, which you would expect when you have a site that's going to get hit as often as Google does, that they're going to have more than one target. But here I have received an answer. So this is one way to demonstrate whether or not you, the uh, name resolution within in your organization is working. Well, no more, another thing you can do is when I'm in interactive mode, for instance, I'm going to change my server. Ooh, let's see, uh, server. Uh, I'll do 4.2.2.2. That's just one that's you know available, freely available out there, I could say, in the real internet. Now let's see if I look up Google again, google.com, show me what you know, and boom, 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 it works. So if, let's say you're, again, having this issue in your organization and you suspect maybe the server guys are right, maybe there is a problem with the network, you can use this NSLOOKUP command. And if you are having issues getting responses, well, the command that I just uh, showed you, server and some other DNS server, maybe, well, maybe the one we're using is uh, not working correctly. Then I can put in another one and see if I get response that way. If I don't get a response from the DNS name resolution server that I am currently using, and I change it to something else and it starts working, now we've narrowed down our troubleshooting steps, and um, unfortunately, we're going to have to admit to the server guys, uh, okay, it, it, it could be the network uh, may have to make some changes. But this is just one of those quick troubleshooting tools that you can use uh, within a Windows box to help you find out or at least narrow down the scope of your troubleshooting if you're having network difficulties.